U2's first live show in four years has been slammed by fans who have bought tickets for their new Las Vegas residency. Set to perform in the still under construction sphere last Friday, some video screens will be completely obscured for some fans in the stadium's highest priced seats. Hundreds of attendees who have spent between $500 and $4,200 are now being offered refunds by companies such as Ticketmaster and Vibe, according to Mail Online. Those seated in the front row 100 section will have a full view of the stage, but many of the sphere's immersive screens will be blocked by an overhang from the section above. In fact, Hundreds of fans will be affected by the issue, with approximately 4% of the venue's 17,500 seats suffering from an obstructed view. I get it, new venue, still being built, etc., Pyotr Ryskiewicz told NBC News after shelling out $501. 35 each for his tickets. He then branded the debacle a ST show and added, but seriously, there should be enough competent people to ensure it runs smoothly. Rice Skewix revealed he had opted to receive a refund for his tickets, one of three options presented to fans. Ticket holders also had the chance to transfer tickets to a set of newly announced dates for December, or they could simply keep them and make do. Don't miss! NCISLA finale sneak peek teases Deeks and Kenzie firing, teaser, Lord of the Rings Miranda Outer Rules Out Rings of Power Return, exclusive, succession fans tip shift leak Kindle's murder cover-up, theory, I could care less if I get picked for tickets, Wendy Alexander tweeted after deciding to swap her obscured ticket for a new one. I'm just so over ticket D and their tactics. It's just ruined any desire to go see any concerts at this point. Which is sad, BC before COVID I was seeing 15 plus shows per year. Elizabeth Prosser also opted to swap but was given seats in the 200 section. I'm one of those people who've now rebooked for December 13th in the 200 section and am still paying $501. 35 per ticket, she said. I also had to pay $360 in flight change fees. No refund for first tickets purchased has been issued yet. Very disappointed with how it was handled. As soon as we realized there was an issue, we worked closely with event organizers to reach the affected ticket holders with several make-good options, a spokesperson for Sphere Entertainment Company said in a statement. We look forward to Sphere's opening with U2 and their incredible run of shows they have planned for fans this fall. Bono and the band's return to live performances was initially billed as a groundbreaking new live experience accentuated by several huge screens surrounding the stage. It will be the first musical performance to take place at the Sphere, which has been under construction for the past five years.